Hi guys, it's time for another quick tutorial and this time I want to talk about DVGs. What are DVGs? Well, they're actually the files that normal architects use when they export their drawings from AutoCAD or ARCHICAD or other architectural CAD programs. And the thing is, those files are actually 100% compatible with uh, SketchUp, but not, not a lot of people knows this and knows how to use them. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what they are and how to use them. So this is our typical uh, DVG, and a DVG uh, is normally like built up of information about a, a, a blueprint drawing of the floor plan. It can also sometimes have 3D information in it, because this DVG is actually a third dimensional uh, file. To import your DVG, just go to File, Import, and then simply find your DVG on your file system and import that. Now, I like to keep Sarah or whatever scale person you have in your file just to see if the scale that comes in is correct because that's the first thing to check out if it is to scale. Now, sometimes we think people will make this in inches, feet, millimeters, meters, and sometimes they won't correlate. And therefore, you have to just double check that your image is the same scale as the original DVG. The way to do that is just simply using your tape measuring tool right here. So just like do a reference here, like for example, this one line here that I can use, which is 18950. I can go into my uh, DVG viewer and select my measuring tool, make sure that it's set the distance and we can click from one end to the other. And if I watch down here, I can see that it is uh, 18949.6. So that in my opinion, is actually close enough because it rounds up the number. You see, there was a lot of decibels there. But if you, by some circumstance, should does not have the right scale, you can use the tape measuring tool again to fix it. Just select the tape measuring tool. If you press Control or Alt on a Mac once, you can see that the little guideline there actually disappeared. That turns it into a scaling tool. So you can select from one end to the other. And let's say that this is supposed to be 20 meters then I could simply click there and then use my keyboard and simply type in 20,000, which is 20,000 millimeters, which is 20 meters. It's going to ask me to resize the model and I can press yes, and that should resize it to the right, correct scale. Remember, if you're doing this outside a group, you will also scale your little person here, which uh, makes her off scale. So if you don't want that to happen, remember to go inside the group before scaling. First thing you'll notice is that there's a lot of information actually missing here. What is not missing, as you can see over in the Tags tab, there are a lot of tags that are actually turned off. But you can say that, well, all the lines are black, so they're really hard to read this thing. Well, they're not. If you go into the Styles tab and simply go to Edit, select your lines, and instead of using All Same on the line color, go to By Material, the color information is actually still there. Uh, and some of the color information might be hard to read because uh, AutoCAD sometimes uses black or gray backgrounds. And that means that they use a lot of white lines. So to make them visible, you also have to change the background. So simply prick this and go to a 50% gray, for example, and then you should have everything uh, available for to you. Except for one thing, and as you can see, there are actually no text information here. I don't have like the room indications or labels. So if I go in here, you can see that we have a lot of information to the different uh, rooms. And uh, this information would actually be quite nice to have in SketchUp too. But for some reason, SketchUp does not support this. Like just a, a, a normal labeling system or something would be nice to have in its own little tab there. But for now, SketchUp will only import uh, the actual vector information and not the text. But okay. One more thing to note when you're importing DVGs is that this has information in three dimensions. DVGs can be both three-dimensional and two-dimensional drawings. And sometimes to separate the different layers, they actually place them like 0 0.0001 point in the z-axis differently. And uh, that can be quite annoying when you're trying to trace this in SketchUp and don't get the planes because it snaps to the different points. The easiest way to fix that is to use a simple free plugin that you can find in SketchUp and it's very useful in general to have. So to find it, go to Extension, Extension Warehouse, and simply search Flatten 
that should give you about three different uh, or four different uh, uh, add-ons here. And it's the one that's called Enroth Flatten to Plane. This is a free plugin made by Enroth and it works perfectly. All it does, it takes every point information and moves it down to zero in the set axis. Just press install to install it. Then when you have you back in your DVG here, make sure that all your tags are actually activated. So just go down the list and turn them all on. I don't re recommend actually deleting these tags because somewhere down the line, some engineer or some lighting technician or something might need this information. So keep them, but hide them in here. So I'm gonna double click into my group, which is automatically created when I imported this. So that I'm inside the group, you can tell that because you have like this little uh, edgy line here. Double click to in and enter it. Then select all by uh, clicking or typing Control A or sh uh, or Command A on the Mac, and go to extensions. And now you will see and rough pattern to plane is an uh, option up here. Click that. And then all the information should be flattened down as a pancake. And believe me, this works. If you want to see it work, uh, exaggerate this by moving this up the Z axis and then use the rough flatten plane and you will see that it goes down. Except for this little point here, which I've seen before, you don't have to worry about that. Now that everything is placed into our SketchUp and we have all the information that we need, we need to like sort this and make this re easier for us to use. First of all, go into your tags, select the first tag, and then select the last tag, and press the Add Tagger folder. As long as you have these selected, they will all be placed into this new folder, and you can call that DVG, just to tidy up uh, the tag section, because I don't actually recommend deleting these tags, because they can be quite useful in the future, but it's really nice not to be able to worry about them. So... <clears throat> And also now we can go through these tags and what I usually do is just turn them all off. And then I go through them one by one just to see what tags I actually need. The less tags you use, the easier this will be to work with. So first of all, axis, no, I don't do that. These are some information. I'm just going to see if I have like the general walls here somewhere. I think that some of these actually overlap. No, they don't, actually. So we're going to go here for four, and then we have... Uh, this is the outer line of the paper. We don't need that. This is the rack. It also has nothing. The sky has nothing, and the X has nothing. So, there you go. What you can also do is just go purge, and if some of these are actually empty, it will delete them. There's a few here that didn't uh, enter with me, so we're just going to take them in there. And now we are generally ready to draw. So the great thing now is that we have flattened it and got the information where we wanted to go. Just remember that SketchUp has uh, some memory issues when you're getting too far away from the world axis. So the room that you're actually supposed to work with should be pretty close to that X there. So press the move tool and just simply take the room that you're going to work with like for this sake, I'm going to use this cantina here. So I'm just going to click on that edge there. And I'm going to move it to the center point there so that we're really close to the axis orange. That will help you out a lot with the clipping and stuff like that. And that is generally how you use a DVG in SketchUp. You can also go in here. Now I can actually use this information that is in here to create our different walls. And since we flattened it, it should easily even using snapping to these edges, still turn out pretty nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it, or if you found this useful, subscribe if you can, and I guess I'll talk to you next time.